This is Brian Nixus from thespreadtarian.com and today we're going to talk about a very important subject not commonly spoken about in the raw vegan diet world and that is proper blood testing and the art form of diet because we talk about diet like it applies to everyone and like we're robots but really diet takes years to perfect and to work out what works best for you and you can't really teach a person exactly what to eat in what combinations it is up to them through extensive experimentations to develop an art form to find a combinations which works for them and when you start with a raw food diet in, in, well, in my experience, especially a living foods diet, it goes through stages of adaption to get the body into the right um, into in, into the right um, zone where you can utilise that nutrition and energy from the diet effectively to really make it work for you. It doesn't start always like that straight away. It takes years. So let's talk about, first of all, blood testing. A lot of people, they, they get blood tested from, from the doctor, the, the, the public medical system, and they, you know, they talk about, oh, we have good levels of all the nutrients. But what I say to them is you're getting a false sense of, sec of, secu of you are getting a false sense of security because what the public system measures is what is in the blood. It is not measuring nutrients that you are absorbing. So you'll find that if you are using a public system for blood testing, your levels will be, will, will, you'll be getting false high levels. What you need to do is go to a, through a private system and get blood spectra testing that tests what nutrients you are absorbing. Much more accurate, the figures will be will not give you a false sense of security. Um, the nutrient levels will be lower than what's in the blood because it measures what you're absorbing. So um, that's the way to do it. Uh, it's much more accurate. Um, unfortunately, it is much more expensive as well. If you're getting a whole host of, of vitamins and minerals and fatty acids tested, it'll cost you thousands of dollars. But, you know, if you want to do it like that, that's the way to do it. But, measuring how, how much nutrient you absorb is not really the be-all and end-all of what's going on in your body anyway. Why? because people have different nutritional requirements. Some people have much higher B vitamin requirements than other people. Doctors have mentioned some people require five times the B vitamins than other people require. Some people have higher mineral requirements than other people, fatty acid requirements than other people. So if you're going, if you're getting 100% RDAs, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be keeping disease away. It all depends on what a person uses. You know, if you're living in a high stress environment, you require a lot more B vitamins, for example. So that's one of the things we need to experiment with. We need to do the RDAs, do that for a few months, then double the nutritional requirements, see if you do better. Just play around with that over a period of years and you'll find the nutrient levels which will start to level out and be at your best. You know, it's taken me a period of years to work out what works best for me. I find that when I'm doing really high nutrient levels, I'm at my best. Other people, they don't need to do near as much as me, and they're doing really well. I find when I do a green juice, 
I'm at my best when I do 1,000 mils, when I do 32 ounces of green sprout juice. If I do less, I'm not at the Superman level. I'm feeling all right, but the more, if I do a litre of green juice, I'm in the zone, I'm ready to go, I'm firing up for the whole day, 10 hours straight, high energy. If I'm doing less, yeah, doing all right, but I'm not on the cloud 10, I'm only on the cloud 9. So you've got to work out what works best for you. Some people, a lot of vegans, are having these real skink diets. A lot of them bum out though too, but some of them, they seem to be doing all right. Not getting a lot of nutrition. They're eating store-bought fruits and vegetables. Low in nutrition. Some of them seem to do all right. But this brings me on to my next point. You're getting a lot of these raw food gurus who say, high carb, high carb or, you know, high protein or whatever. Now, you can't go telling people that stuff because people are all different. Some people slow oxidizers. They do well on high-carb food. They burn it slow. They don't get blood sugar spikes. Other people like me, if I do high-carb, I get tired, I get blood sugar spikes. Can't, I, I can't eat like that. Some people need to do a higher protein, higher amino acid diet, more fat in the diet, the blood sugar stabilized, they get high energy, they do fantastic. So you've got to work out whether you're a slow oxidizer or fast oxidizer, you know, what roughly what ratio of carbs you're going to be doing good on to fats, to proteins. And that takes a period of years. You've got to work out what level of, nutri of vitamins and minerals and fatty acids work for you best to get you to optimal levels. This takes a period of years to do. It doesn't just take months. This takes years, four, five, six years. You know, you need to work it out. This is why I'm saying diet is an art form. You've got to be conscious of your body and what's going on. Now, Here's another real thing, tricky thing which adds more complication into the works. It's simple, but you've just got to be able to wake up to this stuff and, and learn over a period of experimentation. You know, you just can't tell someone how to read. You've got to, it's up to the individual to become conscious, make an art form of diet, extensive experimentation. And if raw food leaders are telling you otherwise, you really should be looking at somebody else because you're not getting really the understanding of the individual and the diet and the art form. Now, the high, um, the living foods diet that I promote, the Sprouterian diet, it is, there's a lot of things, it's a very powerful diet, this diet, extremely high energy giving. So when a, a person first goes onto the diet, they may get tired. They may get a lot of symptoms because it's giving out such high energy. And if you've been on an SAD diet, eating all the meat and the toxins and them, and you're getting all this living food nutrition into you, your body's going to be so overwhelmed, it's not going to know what to do with all this. It can't use all that energy and nutrition straight away. It needs to clean out. It needs to normalize functioning, enzymatic functioning of the body and different functionings of the body to be able to utilize that, that energy from the diet. It needs to, to right the wrongs in the body before you can start utilizing all the good stuff in the diet. So what you're, you're, you're gonna, what's going to happen is um, you might get um, a bit tired for a few months because you're going under detox your body can't use most of what's in the diet so what you've got to do is um, you've got to rotate your foods a lot especially when you, when you first begin because certain foods will give a certain high energy in various parts of the body and if it's overwhelming those parts of the body you're going to get like 
like like a burnout. You're gonna you're gonna get tired. So you've got to do a lot of different things, mix it around to start with. A lot of different energies coming in from the foods on different parts of the body. You don't want too much to overwhelm the body, and you get through. You know, and as you go on, the energy levels will increase. You know, maybe you know three three years, four years, you may get 90% energy, you know, most of the time, but you still may get little blockages at times. So you just continue to rotate your food, you find out your macronutrient ratios which work for you, you find out your micronutrient levels which you need to be at, and over a period of years, it'll all start coming into balance where you're on cloud 10 all the time, high energy all the time, brain functioning goes through the roof, stress is almost non-existent, and it all starts coming together. But that doesn't happen in a hurry. It takes a lot of time, a lot of experimentation, a lot of consciousness of what you're doing, consciousness of the mind, consciousness of the spirit, and consciousness of the energy frequencies from the food that are having on the different parts of the body. And when you start getting on top of this stuff, you're done, you're, you're right. But, um, so be patient, you know, just because you're on a sprout in diet, that doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna be successful. You have gotta make an art form of it. And when you make an art form of it, you, will be successful. You're getting all the nutrients, you're just getting everything you need. Instead of getting weaker and weaker, which many raw vegans do and bomb out, you'll get stronger and stronger and stronger, and your um, levels will surpass your wildest dreams. I can, I can guarantee you that. I never thought for a moment that I would be able to function at the level I am years ago. Couldn't have dreamed of it. Never thought it was possible. Never thought human beings could be like this and in in energy and in, in enthusiasm and in, in, in no stress and in, in brain functioning in and spirituality and everything. Everything surpasses your wildest dreams. I tell you, eat the fresh foods, eat the high nutrient foods get it into you, make an art form of the diet which I've talked about, and you'll be home and hose. You'll never have to worry ever again. So that's Brian Nixus from the Sprouterium.com. Make an art form of your diet, ladies and gentlemen, and just get onto the cloud nine and stay there and never look back. Thank you.